snuck into the container for the attention now. Wow. What a night. <laughs> I was forced to buy a sweatshirt. So, wearing this ugly thing over my maxi dress. We're about to go down and either get some food or go to the ABC store. So, we figured out. We're going to La Salsa. That's, that's what's planned right now. We got to La Salsa right as like breakfast was ending, so they said they weren't taking any more reservations for breakfast. And then we kind of sat there for a few minutes and realized that and that you had to like ask them. We're gonna kill some time and go to H and M here. Okay, my timer just went off. So we made it into La Salsa. It's super cute in here, by the way. I think I'm gonna end up getting a big feed of. This is just a good menu view for all of you foodie viewers. Um, I'm going to be doing one of these at every restaurant just like I did in my part one video. I ended up getting the sirloin steak fajitas and I will be going back. It was only $20.95. The steak was so flavorful, grilled, and I mean just listen to this. We have uh, reservations for Meow Wolf. Yeah. Okay, we just got done at La Salsa and it was really good. I, I think it was great. I would definitely recommend there. Okay, we just got our ticket and we're going into the Make Mart right now. So like you can actually check out all this stuff, like you can buy it. I think so. Porn on the pub. Oh, this is really pretty. This entryway. Look inside the bananas. So cute in here. I'm gonna find my cousin again. Oh, there she is. Or oh, someone called the phone in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what are these? Oh, little earrings and stuff. <laughs> Unspoken promises. Like little air fresheners for your car. What? Y'all got laundry. I gotta get this for my sister because she lies a lot. Keeps lies white. <laughs> oh my gosh. BB2000. Cracker spackle. <laughs> You definitely need a, a good picture of them, the Omega Mart family. If you've heard anything about the Meow Wolf exhibit, it's that they have these weird entrances and exits, so I can't wait to start to show you that. There's no avocados over here. It looks like it's like glitched, you know? Oh, the janitor's closet. If you want to see the Denver Meow Wolf, leave a comment below. Maybe I'll go there. How do you feel about this? Oh, well, what? Ooh! Wow! All these tubes shaking out here. Where do we go, Alex? so much to do like so much to look at there's no way that we could have looked at everything within just two hours but with all of the lights and whatnot it is so cool but you also have to pace yourself so there's like a strobe light room a little bit later and I'm glad that we did that at the very end because it was kind of intense not gonna lie <laughs> Thank you. 
So let's talk reservations. You want to book, if you're booking at like a prime time, like 2 p.m. during like a weekday or a weekend, you want to do this at least a week ahead. Um, it's about 40 bucks a week. You have to make a reservation. I speak from experience because last time I came here, I couldn't go into the Omega Mart. I didn't have a ticket. I was just living the Vegas life. And yeah, they said the next opening time is five hours from now. So that is why you make reservations. Plain and simple. Just do it or you won't get to do it. <laughs> if you're on any type of social media, you've seen this hallway for Meow Wolf's Omega Mart. Like, it's iconic. We ended up doing a little bit more shopping and just finding some kooky stuff. Once you leave the Omega Mart, they do give you a 20% off merchandise coupon. So if you know you want like a sweatshirt or wow. a hoodie, some clothing type Lavender thing, that's not just specifically limit. to the Omega Mart. <laughs> Wait until you get out of the Omega Mart and they'll give you that coupon for 20% off. There are a lot of different shops in Area 15 and bars and restaurants, so just check it all out. Okay, um, we're just waiting for yeah, our Uber. We have two hours exactly from right now to get to the Yellow Tail for dinner. Last time we came in town, I was sick on the first night because of travel, and I canceled because I was like, well, Alex isn't going anywhere without me, but she really could have went by herself, but whatever, we didn't, so now we're going to make up for it. If you're still watching this far into the video, first off, love you, and comment your favorite flavor of taffy. Or not. It's not bad. It's not terrible. Alex got some taffy. There's a whole bunch of different weird flavors. Is this even on my face? This one was pickle and... What other flavors? What would you... What would, would you oh my gosh. I, I think the, the blueberry one sounded really good. We are headed to dinner now. We just have to walk over to the Bellagio. It's not too far. But this whole time, the fountain haven't went off because it's been so windy. I just saw the fountains go off from our room like 10 minutes ago. So they might be actually going by the time we get over there. Oh, look at those rooms up there in the Bellagio. With like the corner balconies. We also have the Circus Olay here. I can't believe we made it, but Yellowtail is on the casino floor. You can't miss it. Luckily, since it was kind of cold, there weren't many people wanting to sit on the patio, but we're from Midwest, baby. We staying out in the cold, okay, for that view. Bet, bet we're gonna go out there freeze a little bit. It wasn't even that bad. They actually had heaters. This is another menu view if you need to pause, see how expensive this stuff is, but it's so good. It is so worth it. Like, if you are really trying to have a nice birthday dinner and treat yourself and you like sushi, just go here. Everything was great. Everything. This is beautiful, Alex. I'm so glad we got to come here. And here's a video of the drink menu. They did have a really good variety and they also had some nice wines. Alex did end up getting a rosé wine, I believe. But yeah, you know, you gotta treat yourself. If you're gonna come for a nice dinner, you can't just be drinking some water. I mean, you can, but try it. By the way, our service was great, so thank you to our wonderful waitress. Like, so sweet. So well, Alex chose this shared cold plate, and I would never have picked this, but I'm so glad that she did. I got to try something new. The tuna was great. The tortilla was on was great. 
This is also the first time I've tried truffle oil. It was different, but it worked. And of course we had to try a drink. I got Infusion 22, it's a sake rum. Uh, yeah, I've never tried sake before, but this was really good. It was light, but very sneaky, very sneaky. She also picked this for us to share. It was a side of kimchi Brussels sprouts. Oh my gosh, I've never had kimchi before, but I'm in love now. And I'm not picky, so I'll try anything, but that was just good. That was a nod of approval. As soon as my sushi showed up, the fountain show started going off. Like, beautiful timing. It was a great show. Some fun songs, as always. And yeah, this is definitely something I'll remember for the rest of my life. Um, oh yeah, my sushi. I ended up getting a California roll and a spicy tuna roll. Alex had made the reservations about four days ahead of time because she actually found out she was going on this trip with me literally uh, four days ahead of when the trip was happening. So she let him know that it was our birthday and they gave me a free mochi. And I think Alex ordered the chocolate chocolate mousse cake. So I just got my first glimpse of Conservatory Garden and it's so beautiful. The Bellagio Conservatory Gardens are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and they change every season. There's also a special display for Lunar New Year. The last time I was in Las Vegas, I came back to this three times. Once with my friend in the daytime, once with random people at nighttime, and then once again just to get more pictures of it and to see it. It's so beautiful. I mean, it's not like terrible, but it's cold still, especially for Vegas. Like, this is basically like the weather back at home almost. <laughs> We're walking back to Planet Hollywood now. Alex, how do you feel about uh, stopping by Lush or are you like dead? Oh, that's fine. I can do that. She only said yes because she's on video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dad, the tipsy robot. The little robot guy will make your drink for you. So sad. Lush is already closed. I'll just come back tomorrow. We're back and we're watching the end of Spider-Man. If this is your first time watching one of my YouTube videos, thank you so much for finding me. If you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button. All right, um, we just ordered an Uber to the container park, so we gotta go. They're already here. Okay. We just got to the container park. We should have been here when that shop was open. It's like a cute art box shop. Oh, I have to get something from Zoltar. Last time I got one from Wild Bill when I was in Wisconsin. Okay. So, on my Wisconsin video, my mom and I didn't even look at what the fortune was that he gave us. We just looked at the back of the car. Attention now, Zoltar has a word of wisdom for you this day. And then of course the praying mantis went off playing pour some sugar on me. It was kind of like the end of my reading I guess, but it always does give you an individual card. Like the reading is kind of generic what he says to you, but just look at the back of your card. The last one that I got in my Wisconsin video is ridiculous at how accurate it was at that point in my life. Um, I don't know, there's all types of different ones. Like I said, Wild Bill was in Wisconsin. This one had Zoltar. There's sometimes even a lady. It's just something fun to do. And also the container park was like completely closed. We got there too late. So that's really all we had to do, but it was really satisfying. I was happy. <laughs> there's a, still a lot of art. We'll give it a little wrap around here and then we'll start headed to Fremont Street. Yeah, it's still freezing by the way. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That is super cute. How do we get out of here? Oh, there you go. I thought I got locked in. We snuck into the container park for the night. See, this club looks like it's popping. Zai. I got heaters up there on the second floor. The heart locks. Thank 
We came the first week in April and I was not expecting it to be that cold, so just make sure you bring extra stuff at night. We're about to head into the D. My back hurts. I don't know about you or Alex, but uh, I wanted to sit down. So we're gonna put three whole dollars in here and yes, yell at me because I don't have my player's card in. Okay, go ahead, yell at me. I'm only putting three dollars in. I ended up getting a player's card and spending four more dollars just to sit down. <laughs> okay. We just left the D. The D. Okay, we're going to the Golden Nugget. The Golden Nugget is an iconic hotel in Las Vegas. They're most known for their shark tank in their pool. Let's go get our player's card first. We wanted to try our luck at as many downtown casinos we could, so that's why we are kind of hopping from casino to casino. Also, there is nowhere to sit on Fremont Street other than at a slot machine or at a table game or at the bar. So make sure you bring your money to Fremont. Another Vegas icon is located in Circa Vegas Vicky. We're back in the room. I got a Cuban sandwich from Earl of Sandwich. The Cuban was pretty good last time, so I hope it's just as good this time. It's currently 2 a.m. Trying to find something good on TV.